Hey, it's Melody. Um, welcome to Sane or Spin, which will be answering questions and based on questions I get from email and YouTube and things like that, as well as making announcements and calls to action for other activists. Um, so, starting there, I will hopefully be doing this every week uh, up until at least July 1st when Hal Dahl and Hyacinth, my latest book, will be released in paperback and I will be launching a lecture tour across the country, um, perhaps Canada, um, elsewhere if you'll have me. Uh, anyway, if you're interested in me coming in person, I'm still booking dates, uh, so contact your local library, bookstore, university, zoo, whatever, and I will happily come. Uh, feel free to email me through my website or Facebook or Twitter or whatever. Okay, that said. Now, this week I'm not going to answer questions, I'm going to make an announcement and a call to action for activists all over the place, specifically lawyers. Uh, some of you will remember in August I wrote an op-ed for the New York Times about mental health inquiries on bar applications, uh, specifically questions about mental health diagnoses that soon-to-be lawyers are asked after going into all the debt of law school, um, sometimes after passing the bar, uh, sometimes while they're uh, studying for the bar or about to take it. Uh, at any rate, uh, the most states ask a question about whether or not you have been treated in the last however many years or whatever for, for any sort of mental, well, some for any sort of mental illness. Frequently, the National Conference of Bar Examiners recommends this question, have you been diagnosed, I think, in the past two years, five years, uh, with bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, or any other psychotic disorder? Some states like Georgia actually ask about depression as well. Uh, at any rate, my argument in the op ed was that we need to scrap these questions altogether. Exciting news, the Department of Justice sent a letter to the Louisiana State Bar saying your mental health inquiries violate the Americans with Disabilities Act, which is exactly what I was saying. Um, and thanks to some incredibly hard work from uh, the people at the Baselin, it's a fantastic uh, organization, the Baselin Center uh, for Mental Health Law, uh, and just public pressure, uh, this happened. And the National Conference of Bar Examiners has said, which when I questioned them before writing the op-ed, they said, oh, we're not going to consider it. Uh, but uh, since that DOJ letter, they've said that they're going to reconsider their mental health inquiries, which is fantastic, except for the fact that they're likely not going to go far enough. So, my call to action. Um, I'm asking that all of you, especially lawyers, but the general public as well, uh, contact your, your local state bar and let them know that you are against these mental health inquiries on principle uh, because they violate the ADA, because they are an embarrassment to the legal profession. Uh, so, do it. That's what I'm asking. You can go to the ABA website or just Google uh, state bar, whatever state you live in, uh, call them, email them, harass them, fax them, send carrier pigeons, whatever. Uh, we need to get rid of these questions. Uh, it's 2014, I think. Uh, okay, so I will hopefully see you next week. Uh, until then, I am out. Thanks.